Hi everyone! I spent a lot of time going through all of the individual use cases and ways that I use Trello, but today we're going to bring it all together and I'm going to show you how I use Trello throughout my day. Bring in all together all of my Trello tech stack, including my boards I use, my automations, and my integrations and power-ups. Are you ready? Let's do it! day by heading to my weekly planning board. It's called Make It Happen and that's where I see what I've got on deck for me today. Um, it's kind of like my weekly sprint planning board. So it's kind of where I can see here's exactly bada boom, laser focus on what I'm focusing on this week. So come on behind my desk and uh, take a look. All right, so this is my Make It Happen board, and it's basically what you can see, a Kanban-style board where I've got a table of contents here, but then I've got my to-do, doing, and done lists, and I have tasks that are queued up here that I move across through doing and done. Um, every day, a new card shows up that has a checklist with my habits for the day. Uh, I actually have it come up at the end of the day before, so it's ready for me. So you can see I've got tomorrow's ready here, and um, I can go through my checklist and keep track of my habits here. I use Butler to automatically create that with the name of the card in the card title. Um, yeah, I also use list limits to keep track of how many cards are in each list. I don't always adhere strictly to those limits, but it's a quick way to see what's going on in there. And if I get too many cards in there, you'll see it'll turn a specific color. So I really like that. Um, I also have different uh, lists in here where I keep track of things. Like if there's articles I come across that I want to read or podcasts or things, I'll save it in here. Um, and I also have a list of things I want to buy, which is like a giant add to cart um, list. And so I add things that I come across via mobile or while I'm on the internet. So, or like at my desktop. So let's say for instance, I'm browsing around, find some sort of Trello thing I want to read or something. Um, I can easily send it by um, clicking send to Trello. Um, save Trello content is actually a different one, but I can specifically say where to send it. I can choose a specific board and list, make it happen, and send to content. I can save it there. Um, or let's say I'm on Amazon and I find something that I wanna buy, really wanna buy this camera. If anybody's looking for something to get me, um, for my birthday next month. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, let's say I want to buy this. I try to make sure I don't buy things just the first time I see them. So I just click this add to cart button and um, it's a bookmarked link that I actually have built with a, a Trello, uh, the add to cart function in Trello. So I'll include a link to that in the description. But um, yeah, and when I click that, it sends it right there. It knows exactly what board and list to send it to because of how I configured it. You can see it actually comes right over here. Ta -da! It is with a link to it. So when I'm ready to go buy it, I am ready to go buy it. Um, so that's awesome. I've also recently started using Taskable, which kind of integrates my calendar with my Trello board. So what that lets me do is each day um, I have different tasks that are scheduled. So new tasks come into my inbox from Trello and any card that I'm assigned to falls into here. I'm able to schedule it and say, here's what I'm working on uh, this week. Let's say I want to do that on this specific day. It'll pop up on that day scheduled queue. Once I go to the day, um, I can see what I have already made time for and which ones I haven't. And then I can drag that onto the calendar um, to make sure I'm actually planning for it. And I found this is a really uh, good way to make sure I'm not planning too many things um, and being pretty realistic about what I'm working on. And it's also nice because when I wake up first thing in the morning, I can see what all my to-do list looks like throughout the day. And it's specifically time blocked by my different activities. So there's no worrying, will I fit everything in through the week because I already time blocked it. And there's no wondering, well, what do I work on next? Because my calendar will tell me. So um, that's pretty sweet. All right, so you've just seen my daily make it happen, but this isn't where it starts. See, it actually all starts in another board um, that's kind of like my backlog. And I wanna show you how I organize it all in one space and it makes its way into my sprint where I know what I'm working on week to week. It's part of my weekly review process. 
So everything actually starts over here in my goals board, which is basically like my backlog board. And I have a list for each of the different categories that I'm interested in planning for. Um, so, you know, things about growing my trailer brand, making some side project money, building apps, different sort of things like that. And um, every week I basically will drag things from over here into that other board that we were just looking at. And so all new ideas, as a general rule, are meant to come to this board first if I think of something that I want to do that relates to an app I want to build rather than adding it to my sprint in the other board, I'll add it over here and prioritize it accordingly. So the way I pick things is each week I have a weekly planning time where I kind of look at what's coming up the next week and I think about my bandwidth, any deadlines I have. I move over here to calendar and I can quickly see when things are due and if there's any cards that I have that are due in this upcoming week that I need to tackle. And then I actually built some rules with Butler that lets me sync cards back and forth between these boards. So let's say for instance, I want to work on, let's find a good example here. Um, let's see, move from Substack to Ghost. Let's say I want to work on that this week. If I just apply the label called queue up, what that will do is it'll actually move the card away from here and send it over to my, bring it up and show you, do, 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 do. bring it to my make it happen board. So it's sitting there ready for me in my sprint. So you notice that moved right over here and remove the label away from it. And I have a Butler rule that when a card is created on that other board, uh, the custom field called themed is set to whatever list it's in. And it was in my brand list. So it automatically saved that there. So let's say I decide I actually don't want to work on this this week. I'm going to hit labels. I'm going to use send back. And it uh, another Butler rule takes that card and moves it back to my goals board um, that way. And it moves it right back into the list that it was from. So you'll see it will actually go right back to brand. I think it dumps it at the bottom. Yep, there it is. So right back there and removes the label. Um, so that's really cool. This process like really helps me to be able to make sure I'm spending time doing the work that I want to do rather than having to worry about what I'm keeping track of. And then when I'm done, everything's done. I don't have to worry that I'm missing something. I'm all good to go. Now all that's left to do is get to work. So while I mainly operate in these two boards, um, I have a couple other boards that I use for specific projects. So for instance, this is my project board for creating Trello content. Each card equals an idea that I have or someone has told me about something that I want to either make a video or a blog post about. And it all goes through this workflow from ideas to currently writing to published. Um, so it's super cool. It uses the Blue Cat Forms Power Up. And what that does is I built this all within Trello, but I'm able to generate this URL that anyone can access. They can type in an idea of like uh, rate grids Trello stack, and I can they can describe in a little more detail if they want. I want to see what you do in Trello all the time. Um, then they can leave their information if they have any follow-up questions, but it submits it and it creates a new card at the top of this list over here with all the information from it. So that's pretty handy. I really like, like to be able to use it like that. Another board I use is my Trello help board where I've got it kind of empty right now just so um, it's easier to share and not give away information. But um, basically, whenever I get questions about Trello or people who want help, uh, I forward it to a Sendbox email, this one right here, and it will go straight to the board and create a new card here. So um, let's see here, I'll fast forward. And you'll see it pop up over here. Takes a second, takes a second. There, ba -doom. See, it popped up there. So it pops up over here and I'm able to reply um, via the comments or via this pop-up here within the Trello board. I can add specific tasks and things that I want to, it's basically a good way to group my communications with my um, project management as well. So uh, it's a great, great way to keep it all together. Um, I use custom fields, keep track of deal values and things like that. So it's a little bit of my um, CRM for consulting and a little bit of my um, 
you know, just ways of, of keeping track with contacts. So I use the Sendboard Power Up, which is the email for Trello that lets me do all of this. And you can actually automate some pretty cool things with that and make us some templates. So super exciting. Um, but yeah, these are my main project Trello boards. Work hard, play hard, am I right? I don't like to be productive just for the sake of being productive. To me, productivity is more about having time for the things you want to do and only working on things that actually matter. It's important to make time for things you enjoy as well. Oh, uh, speaking of things I enjoy, let's talk about cooking. Uh, I don't actually enjoy cooking, um, so that was a terrible segue, but now that we're here... I also use Trello in the kitchen. It's pretty handy, I have a board for meal planning and prep, so once a week, Trello picks out my meals, I approve them and make a shopping list, and then when it's time to make some food, I just pick one from the list and read the recipe step by step on my iPad. I love using Trello on my phone, which is literally always with me because of who I am as a person. So I'm a big fan of using Trello on the go as well, um, and it's super easy to do right here from my phone. So I actually created a shortcut with Siri, so when I click this button, it brings up a pop-up and I can type um, whatever I want to add to my grocery list, like cat food. And notice when I hit done, it adds it to my board, and next time I'm ready to go shopping, I can see it over here on my meal planning board. Cat food right up there at the top. Um, and if I want to add a card to any other board, it's super easy to do from my phone. I can just go to whatever board it is, type whatever I want in the list, and it's right there. And if I want to, you know, add a link I just copied or something I just screenshotted, it's really easy to do from these options right here. And that's it. I know it feels like a lot, but I promise it didn't happen overnight. It's years of stuff that I've created and slowly iterated on and it became what it is. So um, if you want to achieve Trello mastery, come join me, come and I'll show you all of the ways and how you too, a couple years from now, can be in exactly the spot. Levi would love for you to join as well. Come on, Levi, say, say, come Trello with me. Levi says, come Trello with me. Yes, that's what he's saying. Um, feel free to subscribe to my newsletter. I have a weekly newsletter where I update people on everything I'm doing with Trello and new things I find and learn. Um, I also create videos on here. I try to make a new one every single Thursday so you can see a new one right here. And occasionally I do a live stream where you can watch me build various things and uh, see the magic unfiltered, um, so to speak. So um, yeah, comment below in this video description if there's anything you're like, I'd love to see how you do this intro or is this possible because I'd love to make a video about it. Um, thanks again for watching and hope to see you all around.